People call this Sin City. And if you think of what happens here, stays here. It all kind of flows together that, well, is there going to be a mob hit here? No, but there might be something exciting. In a lot of ways, the history of the mob in Las Vegas and the history of Las Vegas are very closely connected. In the early 30s, the state legislature changed the laws to make it easier to get divorced and made it legal to gamble. And so downtown Las Vegas gets casino. Now, there are illegal gambling operators, organized crime people coming in here in the 30s, but not in large numbers, and you don't have large casinos. In the late 40s, 50s, and 60s, you get this migration to southern Nevada, and you get the classic strip. The strip itself is not located in Las Vegas. It is in what is called an unincorporated township which was created so that the strip operators didn't have to pay the municipal taxes and fees and they would be involved with a different form of government. In the 70s, the mob became arrogant. They thought, it's our town. We can do whatever we want. And when you become that arrogant, you're going to screw it up. And they did. They got caught. And by the mid-80s, organized crime interests have been driven out of the casinos of Las Vegas. If you go down the strip today, the Flamingo was built by the mob. The original building is not there. The Riviera is crashing to earth. But in a sense, the physical strip that the mob built still stands. People come here to indulge in what's considered a vice. There are a lot of allowances here for behavior that in other places, either their social system or the state they live in that's conservative doesn't allow for. I was a newspaper man, and in Las Vegas, there's just so many different stories happening on so many different levels. You could be covering something having to do with one of the most heinous crimes that's ever occurred. It's a place of extreme. Growing up here was completely normal because it was all I knew. Slot machines in the grocery stores didn't faze me whatsoever. Las Vegas is uh, concentrated America. Everything that's wrong with the America is 10 times wrong here. And everything that's right with America is 10 times right here. You have to understand, you will not live forever. And it's important to note that we are a conservative Mormon town. We have more churches per capita in Las Vegas than anywhere else in the country. Just to make sure that whatever you do on Saturday night, you can repent for Sunday morning. Las Vegas is a place where you can express yourself in whatever form works for you, and no one blinks an eye.